Hey, what's up guys? I'm Praetorian and welcome back to Emirata Rome as we are playing as the Roman Republic. So before we start this, this war against Macedonia, which would be our third Macedonian war, uh, before we do that, I want to address a, a couple things. So first of all, I had some people ask if I could show the, the culture uh, spread and the, as well as the, the religion conversion. And so this is how it's looking. Remember, these are just the, uh, uh, the, the dominant cultures in these provinces. So obviously the Roman culture spread much further than what you see here. But this is where we are dominant. So almost all of Italy is now uh, Roman. As you can see, we've also gotten uh, many of our Mediterranean islands here are now also mostly Roman. Uh, up here in Gaul, uh, a lot of Roman provinces as well, though, still quite a bit of conversion left to do there. Uh, here in Africa, uh, it looks like the, the cities are still Punic. Uh, not even all the cities. Some of the cities are uh, converted, uh, but the very large cities are still, um, you know, dominant culture here is Punic rather than Roman, but much of the countryside is Roman. Similar situation here in, well, not so much. I was going to say similar situation, but actually there's, there's quite a few cities here on the coast of uh, uh, Hispania that, that we've got Roman domination. And then there's a few locations, not very many, uh, but a few locations here in Greece where we've gotten the dominant culture as well. So that's the, uh, you know, just the, the dominant. But if we wanted to look at where we've, um, trying to select, here we go, uh, where we've actually uh, spread to, you know, where the, the Roman culture is present, and it's, it's pretty much throughout our empire. Uh, yeah, you can see that we have spread pretty much everywhere. Uh, at, you know, at least a few pops. This doesn't really tell you much, though. You can kind of see the coloring here, of course. But uh, other than that, it's it's not really clear. You know how how many pops are there? But we have spread. You know, the Roman culture pretty much everywhere, uh, all through our territory. There's at least one pop. I'm not seeing too many provinces uh, that don't. So not really a useful uh, look at things. It's, I think it's more useful to look at the the dominant uh, culture and religion. If you look at Hellenic, obviously, uh, you know. The, the new territory we conquered was already Hellenic, uh, so no problems with conversion there. Uh, you can see that Italy and almost all of our territory here in the Mediterranean is, uh, you know, in the Mediterranean islands, I mean, uh, is our religion. Uh, even here in Gaul, we've done a pretty good job converting. Uh, and then here in Africa, also pretty good. Uh, much different from what we saw last time, still seeing that the major cities are not our religion. Uh, over here in Spain, uh, you don't really have uh, very many uh, provinces that have the, the dominant religion as ours. Uh, just looking at the, the total spread of it here, you see we have spread it across most of our empire. At least at least a few pops worship the right the right gods. All right, so that's looking at the, the culture and the, uh, uh, the religion spread. And then the other thing I wanted to address is forts. I've been slowly deleting forts uh, across our empire. I've already done Spain over here, so we're just take a look. Uh, some of these look like they're in the same province, but they're not uh, in the same state, I should say. Uh, these are all in different states, and we're keeping the, the one fort there in each of these forts, if we already have a fort there, uh, simply for the, uh, uh, the loyalty bonuses. And then uh, here in Italy, I've been slowly deleting forts here as well. If the loyalty is, you know, very, very secure, where we're going up by, you know, 0.2, you know, or, or 0.3 per month or whatever, so quite a bit. Uh, so, like, over here, I deleted a fort just recently. Uh, over here, you can see that we're going up by 0.3 per month, so pretty good. Uh, so places like that, I've already kind of deleted the, the fortifications because unrest is just not an issue there. Uh, so... We'll, we'll do that in other Italian provinces as well. Just kind of slowly delete them. You can see where I've been deleting them here, you know, right before we started recording this episode. So a lot of forts were deleted before I started here, so we should see the income uh, change a bit. Although, I don't know if we were paying for our fleet before, so that might actually end up going down because of that. Uh, but overall, uh, we have less forts we're, we're paying for right now. So we, we're going to go ahead and, and get this war started, and uh, a question that was asked is... Is there any way we can not micromanage all these units, you know, for every province that we're attacking? And there is. Uh, I think I showed this earlier in the uh, in the series. 
you can give the AI control over units. Uh, and now in this particular instance, what you would want to give them is the carpet siege. So this can be useful during great conquest wars and civil wars because that's they, they try and take over every province. That's what the, the carpet siege is for. And then you can assign them to the region so they only do, uh, do it in that particular spot. However, uh, those who have been on my channel for a while know that I don't give AI control of anything uh, for the most part. I, I typically micromanage everything. Some people don't like uh, micromanagement, and if you don't like micromanagement, then this is obviously not going to be a, a channel that you're going to, you know, enjoy the content of of, of these late games, uh, where I, I still typically control the units. So if you guys see my Hoi Four uh, content, I mean that's divisions, and so you like got you know hundreds, hundreds of units that you're controlling, and I will control every single one of them. Uh, so here where we got you know less than ten units, or maybe we got ten. One, two, three, four, five six seven eight nine yeah we got like less than 10 units here uh, obviously i'm still going to uh control these uh so so yeah we'll, we'll we'll micromanage them and it'll be uh obviously micro intensive up here as we try and take every single province uh but i, I still micromanage all my units guys because i don't i don't trust the ai to do anything competently they they just muck everything up i've tried using this before on my own campaigns uh, you know, off camera, just testing it, and they're terrible. They're so bad. They just make piss poor decisions. You you would think like setting them to carpet siege that they wouldn't be able to muck that up because like they just have to go sit on a province and take it and then move to the next one and stay in that region. But they do muck it up. They still they just they they have all kinds of issues. Like the AI is just so bad in Paradox games. I don't know why anybody would want to give them a control other than just to reduce your own micro. Uh, if you just don't want to have to micro things, which I understand that uh, it's. It can be frustrating, I suppose. Uh, but let's go ahead and, and get these troops moving. But yeah, I will be micromanaging all the units, if, if that wasn't clear. Uh, so remember, we're, we're going to start invading with all these units here. We want to go to the forts and then the, uh, uh, you know, the province capitals. And we need to make sure that they don't get into our territory. Uh, because if, if they get into here, we'll be in some serious trouble. Uh, because they can, you know, take our provinces from us. So what we're going to do is we're going to set these guys to just sit right here for now. And that way, if they are attacked, they'll have to attack across here, and they'll get a penalty for doing so. It might not be enough to let 10,000 defeat, say, 20,000, especially with such a crappy marshal here. Uh, but it might be. It might be enough to at least hold them off for a little while or do enough casualties. I don't know. Until we can get some, some troops over there. So we'll just keep the 10,000 sitting there until we've secured this area here. Uh, but let's go and send these uh, 60,000 men in uh, to all the different forts and stuff. Actually, instead of sending them here... Let's have them go to the first fort. And we also might want to base this off of, uh, you know, which of the, the legions we want to send in here. So with this one, this is this is clearly the, the better of our legions, the, the first legion. I do not want to hire those guys. So for these ones, we should probably use them for battle. And then use this legion here for taking of, of, of the fortifications here. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to change this up a little bit. And we're going to try and get them to engage us. Somewhere that is beneficial to us, though it does look like no matter where we go, attrition is going to be an issue. But we have to take every single province. Uh, so yeah, we're, let's just go through here and just kind of slowly take the the provinces then, while these guys work on the forts, and so those do, do take uh, time. So they'll work on the forts for us. They'll secure this while the fifteen thousand just kind of roam around here and take territory until we can find the uh, the enemy troops. So I think that's good. I think we got everybody moving now. We gotta wait for the ships to repair their morale. We should probably turn this down. And they actually went the way I want them to go. I want them to go over here. It's easier to keep them contained and we don't have to worry about them crossing here. Though, they might be trying to pick up troops right now, so that would be an obvious problem. Oh, okay, what they're doing right now is stopping us from crossing here. Uh, so that's a problem. And they are leaving though, here in one day. There we go. All right, so now I have to redo this. Okay, that's not too much of an issue. It was just these two units that got stopped. Uh, so we've already taken one of the provinces over here. Let's go ahead and let the men roam freely. Although, you know, we're just going to do the gentle let looting since it is going right over to us. And uh, another thing to consider is that uh, we're not going to be spending any money in this war, guys. As I said in the pinned comments of the last episode, we're going to just save our money up so that at the end of the war we can build a really good Great Wonder. All right, so these guys have all won, so let's just go ahead and continue pushing forward here, just grabbing territory. Again, going to be very time-consuming, uh, you know, micromanaging this, but I think it's all right, guys. It's fine. Oh, damn. 
Okay, so this would... We're going to send gold to, to Sparta. And I, I don't want to do that. Yeah, I don't really care about that at all, actually. So, yeah, we'll just do this here. It's going to irritate the co-consul, uh, but that's fine. Okay, so, yeah, provinces are flipping. And it's going to be, a, again, it's going to be kind of a time-consuming and slow process, and we're going to miss some things, obviously. All right, so these guys are grabbing these up for us, and they want to trade for our honey. Yeah, we'll let them trade for the honey. Uh, we are blockaded over here. Can't really do anything about the ships. Not entirely totally sure where these guys are, which way they're going here. Let's just take a look. They're coming up this way. That's interesting. Uh, but yeah, I can't really do anything until we get our ship's uh, morale back up. Since we just started paying for them. I really should have started paying them before we started the conflict, but I didn't even think about the ships at all. All right, so these guys are done. Oh, we can't go through here because of the fort. That's right. We'll have to go ahead and take that one then. I suppose that works out. I was going to have these guys do that, but... All right, so next they'll come over here and go, you know, go after that province, I suppose. All right, so let's have these guys go this way. And this does have some cost, of course, taking this. I don't think it's completely free of aggressive expansion. I think we might have saw a tick up right there. I think every time we take a province, it's going to uh, tick up. So it's not that it's free from aggressive expansion, uh, but what's really nice about this is that you're burning off the aggressive expansion as the war is going, uh, so you have that benefit. And we'll keep these guys here, even though they could be taking provinces for us, because um, I'm a little bit worried about them, them crossing again and taking our territory, which we really do not want to have happen. All right, so they're going over there, they're going over there. Again, it's going to be micro-heavy until we get all this conquered, but uh, once we get this done, we can focus on Anatolia. I think it'll be a little bit easier. Because we can keep, just, keep our view right here, you know what I mean? All right, so let's go ahead and grab this now. And yeah, you can see that aggressive expansion going up by quite a bit. So we could end up having some issues here. That's another thing to consider. I want all this territory here, and uh, we don't want to have aggressive expansion issues. Uh, so if we take too much over here, then it could cause some problems for us. All right, so we're going to grab that. So this is not as important over here for right now. Um, it's more important to get this done, I think. All right, so they're going over to that location. These guys can go and grab that for us, and they can come over here and grab that one right there. But yeah, it's not free of aggressive expansion, so that should be uh, considered. Morale's still not high enough for the ships just yet. Have to be patient. Uh, the sieges are going well. And we do have a scorned family. That's interesting. I'm not entirely sure why we have a scorned family. Where we didn't before. Huh. I'm not sure what happened there because we didn't get a notification about me dying that was in, a, in an office. Okay, that's strange. All right, well, we'll go and try and uh, get them a piece, see if there's not anything we can do here. Uh, we do not have any positions here to give away unless they've gotten somebody good, which I doubt they do. Do we have any families that are, are happy and can be given? No, they can't. We, we don't. Frankly, we're going to have to give uh, them a governorship. There's really nothing else to be done there. So just kind of like dip through here and find a governor we might want to. It's got to be a minor character. This is probably not the, the best way to do this, honestly. Uh, we'll look at this guy. We just found him. No, uh, he's pretty decent. All right, so we're going to have to go through here because this is going to take too long otherwise and just find a character. We got this guy here in Numidia, but we gave we put him in that position for a reason, though hmm, he would actually be better over here. Okay, so we'll just replace this guy and then maybe we'll use him. Uh, in Spain when we, we take over a little bit more territory. Uh, another thing about Spain, though, let's, let me get this guy replaced first, though. This is in Numidia, so it'll be right here. So let's get this guy replaced real quick, and it's just going to be from the best character, and, and he's actually not that bad. Yeah, he's not too shabby. We'll put him in place there. Uh, but the thing about Spain here, guys, so we're trying to complete that mission tree, and... Let me just go to the mission tree. We have to conquer this region here. And one thing I was concerned about is the fact that, you know, our subject holds that. So I was like, oh, what are we going to do here? But it clearly shows that it does not have to be uh, owned by us directly. It could be a subject state here. So there's no reason uh, that we have to, to worry about the, our subject owning this. Basically, all we have to do is attack this one tribe here. Oh, Lord. I don't know why that never goes away sometimes. Uh, just this tribe here. That's it. 
you, you conquer this tribe here and then you win, though it does look like they're at war with somebody else. That might cause some issues. Yeah, they're at war with them. Hmm, well that's interesting. Uh, but if they take on that territory, we'd have to do two wars. But yeah, that's that's all we have to do, guys. Now, we could just bring a levy over there, but I kind of really want to concentrate on this conflict given the nature of the, the conflict with it being uh, the Imperial War goal. I think it would be uh, wise for us to focus on this one. All right, so we've got that conquered. Uh, so that's the fort. So we want to come over here and grab this one next. And you know what? I don't think anybody's going to get past this, guys. We're doing pretty good paying attention. Pretty good job paying attention. So we're going to put these 10,000 over here. We also have so many troops over here. I don't even know what they would do. Yeah, I'm, I'm mostly worried about them bringing the, uh, their fleet over. I think that's where we'll find ourselves in a pickle. If they put a bunch of ships on a... Or excuse me, they put a bunch of troops on some ships and then land them here in Greece, then yeah, we'll be in a lot of trouble, guys. Uh, remember, though, Egypt, I think, is at war with Macedonia right now. Let me just double check. Yeah, they're at war with Egypt right now. So they are busy in that conflict. Uh, that happened the last time as well. Uh, Egypt has lost more of their territory, by the way. Yeah, Egypt's doing terrible. Uh, but yeah, with Macedonia involved in, in that conflict, I cannot get that to move over. All right, so we're just going to be gentle here. And see what we want to, to do with these units. It's going to get them moving. As long as everybody's moving, then we're good to go. All right, so let's go and have these guys here, maybe, <laughs> move on over to there. Just make sure nobody's sitting here when they don't need to be. Just getting those forts knocked out. It should be done in no time. And looks like we got barbarians down here again. Though, not as big of a problem as before. It's only uh, 1,000 men here, 1,500 men. So we might be able to wipe them out with the levy, though I'm not entirely sure. Uh, we'll have to take a look, guys. Because uh, I think the, the levy's pretty small over here. We'll just raise them up. Ah, I'll raise them up right there, I guess. Oh, yeah, this is actually a much larger levy than before because we did move all those units over here. Uh, so with that in mind, we want to let them get their morale up just a bit. I know we don't need to. I guess we could just go and attack. Yeah, I really don't need to, to get the morale all the way up. Let's get those guys wiped out before they move over somewhere else and, and take some more territory. All right, so these guys here are done. They're going over to there, so that these guys will go up to here now. And let's go and have these guys go over here. Aggressive expansion's at 13.4, and that's really gonna control when we stop here uh, in Anatolia, is just the aggressive expansion. When it gets you know obscenely high, then we'll just end the conflict. Uh, so no longer get base metals in a province, that's fine. So these guys are going over to that province. Let's have them go over to here, and these guys go over to here. All right, so still working on all the, uh, the fortifications right now. We don't have those yet. These guys are done here. Let's go and have them. I really want to take that location right there. Yeah, I really want to take that. In fact, I want to say... Okay, this one has a great... Uh, yeah, this one does have a great wonder. Okay, so th this will give us the oratory tech investment plus 25% when we take control of that. All right, nice. So, yeah, we'll, we'll make sure we get that in this conflict. I think that would be super helpful. But, yeah, so far it's going pretty good, and, and the micromanagement hasn't been too bad, guys. I mean, you just got to keep dipping back and forth, of course. That's really not that, that big of a deal. Let me make sure that these uh, guys didn't move here. They did not. And we're going to tell them no. No trade for you. Uh, the fleet is ready. Let's move them out. Now what I think we're going to do is have them help out with this siege right here. Uh, it's almost done, of course. Could also have them help out there, but I really like to, to have the ships here to stop their fleet, which we know is over here in the Black Sea, uh, from being able to come out of the Black Sea and, and build it to move troops because again I think that would be the, the biggest issue uh, we have finished up here now the problem of course which uh, this is I think a major oversight on on Paradox's part is the fact that you can't get rid of these levies you gotta pay for them now uh, so if you have a rebellion or you, you have a, a barbarian horde to come across your borders and you have to raise levies up that's you know far away from the front line then you have to uh you know, you gotta have to keep them raised up, and there's nothing you can do with them. Now, what I would love to do, you know, and what we might do, 
because I'd love to make use of these guys, is maybe let's bring them over here. And we could use them for this conflict if we were to attack these guys and maybe try and get some of that territory taken. That'd be an option. Uh, so they're not just sitting around not doing anything. Uh, also, these guys here want to trade. We will trade with them. Since they're on our border, they're very tiny. Maybe we can make friends with them. Though as aggressive expansion goes up, that might be uh, difficult to do. I think aggressive expansion will be an issue. Alright, these guys are taking this. Let's go move to the next area here. So, what we'll be considering, of course, is nice borders as well. Uh, so I'm not trying to take... Maybe we'll just try and take, like, certain states over. Obviously, we want to get all this coastline here taken. I think that would be desirable uh, to get all this. So we'll try and get these provinces here. But yeah, aggressive expansion, when you take all this over, this is it's going to be an issue, guys. Definitely going to be a problem. All right, so just keep on pushing forward here. We'll see what... Yeah, we'll trade with them. Trade our wine. That famous Roman wine. None of the forts have been taken yet, so hold up. That might be one of them. Yep, so this is the one we've been working on for some time. Is there any other fortifications? And we do want to keep these troops with them just because these are all, you know, really sh uh, shoddy troops. And so we'll keep them doing the, uh, the sieges for now. But I do want to keep some good troops just in case Macedonia has troops up here. I highly doubt they do, but they might. And, uh, you know, we, we don't need them down here. As you can see, there, there's really not much of a problem here. Uh, though, you can see that they're trying to get through here. So it's probably a good thing that we're bringing this fleet through here, guys. Trying to destroy any ships and stop them from leaving. Uh, you know, they'll be put into the port. Although, we're not attacking them. Are we not at war with the Rhodes? We're at, we are at war with Rhodes. And yet, we're not attacking their ships. That's strange. Are they fleeing? Not entirely sure what's going on here. Why we didn't uh, attack them when we very much are currently at war with them. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, let's go ahead and get these guys moving over here. These guys moving over here. Just kind of move around all of our all of our siege and troops. Again, it's it's very micro intensive this uh, style, uh, but it doesn't bother me. I like having full control of my units. I've just always been that way with these uh, strategy games and the, and the Paranos games. Well, to be honest, in Hoi 4, I didn't always control all my, my divisions because there's so many of them, and uh, I didn't used to play that way. Then I realized that... I'm trying to get through here, why can't we... Is the fort... Is there, like, a fort blocking the, the pass here? Because, yeah, you can't go through these. Oh, you gotta go all the way through up here. Okay, so, yeah, we won't be able to take that territory. We're gonna have to go through here, I guess. Yeah, we'll go ahead and take... Oh, let's move right there. Take that one. Yeah, but that fort's going to cause some issues. We might just have to assault it. If there's no units up here, that's not a problem. Uh, but yeah, with Hoi... Uh, uh, I didn't always control the units in Hoi 4. Just because there's so many of them. But then I realized like how shoddy the AI is. And just how, how bad it does. It's just so garbage. <laughs> that I started to control my units. And then overall, I, I have a funner experience controlling the units. Let's go to move these guys over here. And I don't want them getting past me. So, you know, let's let's take this one real quick. And then we'll have the 10,000 come up over here this way and, and grab those. So far, it's going well. We haven't fought anybody. Uh, again, I think their troops are likely elsewhere uh, in that Egyptian conflict, which this is the second time this has happened for them. We've attacked them while they're fighting Egypt. And I don't need any, I never even did that intentionally any of those times either. It just kind of happened that way. But maybe it does have a fort there. I can't really tell because the, the white icons are sometimes difficult to see here. But I mean, it sure seems like there's a damn fort here. There's a fort here. Oh, there it is. Okay, I just couldn't see it. Okay, so we're doing a, a, a siege there. Okay. I didn't realize that. We do have low food. Is this in this province here? Or is this a unit? It's, it's this province here. Uh, though this unit... This unit is good on food, so... Not too worried about it. Uh, let's go move these guys over to here. Still waiting on them to take that. Just make sure no units here. Just sitting around not doing anything. Yeah, looking good. Yeah, so far this is, is going swimmingly. With uh, no real resistance yet. I suppose you could complain about that, you know, that we haven't had much of a challenge here. Um, how far do we want to go? Is this all part... Okay, so this is all part of this province, so we're going to go after this one. 
I am worried about aggressive expansion after we've taken all the area around the Black Sea. Uh, so we do need to keep that into consideration as well. Like how much aggressive expansion we're going to get here. Uh, so far, though, just super, super easy. And we're getting a ton of territory. Alright, so let's have these guys move. Can they not go there? Looks like that's a no. Let's have them come over to here then. Alright, and they're going to grab that for us. Alright, excellent. So yeah, just grabbing these ones over here. And yeah, I mean, it doesn't really feel like, to me, like this is too difficult manually controlling all these divisions. So this is a new region. Uh, you know, I kind of do want to take control of this one, so we'll go ahead and have this guy continue here. Though, let me make sure these are from the same legion. Yeah, we want to keep them all, our, all our legions together. I think that would be wise. So we'll have, uh, he'll go here and then maybe go, no, no, no. Let's keep them over here. All right, so yeah, we'll have these guys sweep across here, grab over all this state up. Then when they're done, maybe we'll look at going into other states. Uh, this guy will take this state over while this guy here is going to come over here and help him. Uh, we'll have him, as soon as he finishes there, come over here and grab those ones. Over here is a little bit simpler because we already know that we want all of it. So we don't really have to decide what we're going to take and what we're not going to take. Since that is our priority region, we're going to tell both those guys no. We've got two more powerful tribes here. And well, maybe not them, but yeah, these guys are not doing too shabby over here. Uh, as far as our, our total conversion, because I didn't really show that at all. We have 5,043 Roman Pops. Uh, we looked at the percentage there. We're at 36.8. We were at 39% before we started this conflict. Uh, so the conflict, because remember, we're taking complete control of these, has obviously ticked it down quite a bit, uh, as you'd, you'd expect. Uh, but yeah, we, we were pretty much sitting at the same percentage, which isn't bad considering uh, how many more Pops we have uh, the last time we looked at this. Uh, we have 5,043 Roman Pops, not bad at all. Macedonia is an integrated uh, culture here, so they're not being converted to the next largest. Punic was, of course, integrated, so that's why they're the second largest here. Uh, we, we haven't been working on integrating that long. But yeah, doing a pretty good job overall getting them converted, I feel. Considering, you know, how many Pops we've gotten in these recent conquests, which we've gotten quite a few. All right, so we're gonna be gentle there. Uh, though I should have looked at where exactly it was. Might have been right there. Could have been over here somewhere. It was, I think it was right there. All right, so let's have these guys move over here, grab that for us. And is somebody staying here? It looks like nobody is. All right, so we'll just have this guy grab that next. Are both of these guys going to the same? Oh, okay, this is the 10,000 man army, okay. I didn't realize that. So we now have a new region conquered and thus have to get another governor appointed. All right, well, let's do, I'll just do somebody pretty good. I don't know that we have anybody that's Macedonian up here. He's Thessalon, but yeah, that won't help. I don't I don't even know how many pops are, are Macedonian in this, this region. You'd assume that they've converted a lot by this point. So we'll see if we have any Macedonians, but we do not. We have one right there, uh, but he's not great. He does have this here, though, so that's helpful. I mean, he's not the worst possible candidate here. Yeah, we'll go ahead and put him in place. Again, just assuming that there's a lot of Macedonians here. Uh, yeah, there are quite a bit. 47 point something percent of the population. So this guy is now working on this area, so we'll have him go up to that. He needs to come over to that area as well, so we're going to have him move up to here. And everybody else is good. Could have split those armies up more, but I, I didn't know uh, that we are going to have such ease here. Yeah, I expected there to be a little bit more resistance to us uh, than there has been. And, and it's fine. Yeah, we got enough units to manage, I suppose. Uh, we did actually lose some uh, of the trade routes here in the capital, or at least one. We lost one trade route. I don't know what it was, so we're just going to wait for a second. Let it uh, update. So here in a couple days. Won't take very long. All right, let's go ahead and be gentle. And let's go ahead and move to next location there. This guy needs to come over here. And let's see what's going on up here, where we did just take a province. We took that one over. Well, this guy grab that one next. Uh, he can just go ahead and move over to... Okay, so he's going out to the fort, so he needs to go over here. And grab that for us. And we might assault that that fort. Simply because it's going to be holding us off for a while. 
yeah, we'll trade with these guys here. And let's go ahead and look at this this trade situation, figure out what it is that we lost. It was fish. Okay, so we definitely want to trade for, for more fish. Let's trade with these guys here. All right, excellent. Let's fix that situation. Just make sure all our units are moving or sieging. Yeah, looking pretty good, guys. All right, so these guys should be done here. As soon as they're done, we'll have them move over here. These guys here working hard. And let's just take a look at what we got going over here. These guys are almost all done. So we'll just wait till we finish them all up before we move back up north. So, and let's be gentle. All right, so they're already taking that location for us. Is this a uh, a fortified province? Yeah, so let's go ahead and move the fleet over to here then. Yeah, I don't see any, any fleets over here. So we'll move the fleet over to here. And we need to move these troops as well. Let's have them go to that location next, I suppose. Although that's a different region. Okay, so we're not going to take territory in other, uh, you know, any of these other provinces yet. Let's wait to see if we do. Let's get the the, the current states we're in uh, finished up first. Really kind of focus that, and and try and have the borders up like so, for right now. Uh, we could go after this region uh, and this region stuff, but let's let's be patient, guys, because I don't know what aggressive expansion is going to look like by the time we finish conquering this, and uh, I don't want to get too too overly ambitious here, guys. So let's just go where we can block them off, and uh, we're essentially yeah we're done with these guys. They'll just sit here now until we figure out what we're doing. I know we're basically wasting time where we could be conquering uh, provinces, uh, but again, aggressive expansion is a concern here. Uh, let's be gentle. Although I'm not sure. Should have looked at where those guys were at. Was that? Oh, it wasn't there. Looks like it was right here, perhaps. All right, so they're going over to that province. They're going over that one. They're going to that one. Okay, excellent. While well, we have the two sieges going up here, let's go and have them move down to that province. Wait, let me just double check. Yeah, that's part of this region. And we got an event here. Let's see what we want to do. Alright, so we say he will quiet down a time, hopefully. And, and this is this character here who's an, an admiral. In which case, he's going to get he's going to lose loyalty, he's going to get popularity, he's going to get corruption, he's going to get a bunch of money. Or we do this one in, instead, time to share, in which case we'll get some tyranny, which we can easily burn off. That also help with the aggressive expansion. We'll get a bunch of money and he's going to lose even more loyalty and he's not a very loyal character right now. That's a bit of a problem, actually. Okay. Yeah, he'd become disloyal, and we lose control of the fleet if we do this option here. Now, as far as other things that happen here, I mean, really, we're just getting the money and the tyranny and more loyalty uh, loss. So we'll just do this one, guys. And then we're going to want to deal with him now before his loyalty gets any lower and we lose control of him. Uh, we can either bribe him. Uh, corruption's... Not too much of an issue here for this character, I suppose. I think that's what we'll do. We'll just bribe him real quick. Okay. Just take a peek, make sure all our troops are moving up there, or down there, and then we'll come up here. And, uh, yeah, still good to go. Again, we might do an assault here. Uh, it might not... It, it's actually not going to stop us. Yeah, I don't think it'll stop us at all, so we'll be able to keep on uh, advancing. Uh, let's have this guy... He's going to go across there now. It'll take him time to walk all the way up here. All right, let's go ahead and see where this is. All right, so yeah, going very well so far. Let's have them advance all the way up there. Just make sure these guys are still taking territory. We have one unit there. Okay, so we did get an event about the, the Rock of Ages in, in the last episode. I named the episode after that, but we didn't read it uh, because it was at that back end of the episode and it was supposed to be a shorter video, so I didn't want to take the time to read it here. It was a, a permanent modifier, though, so it's one. It's an event we probably should have read. And it's a unique event. It's not something uh, that we see all the time. So we're going to read this one here, guys, since this is about the Rock of Ages. Uh, we can end up losing it. Or we can say, so it must be, in which case we'd have to spend 5,000 manpower, which is irrelevant. We'll gain 4 war exhaustion, and uh, also gain 20 stability. That's a huge chunk of stability. Uh, let's, let's see what it says. In the years since our people located the Great Walk of the... 
with the great rock of the heavens, the local administration in Mons Seleucus has created a shrine about the stone. The rock itself was carved into an imposing idol and provides our people with comfort and respite in trying times. Our state of war, however, has convinced our chiefest advisors that the security of this divine messenger is at risk, and they advise us to relocate the shrine to Roma, regardless of the huge effort and cost. Our military command even believe it will act as a figurehead in this bitter conflict. Well, I'd prefer to have it in Roma anyways. So yeah, let's do that. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll be able to keep the Rock of Ages bonus, which gives the state religion happiness bonus and the morale of armies. And it's not that expensive, and you get the... Uh, Massive amount of stability, that's nice. So yeah, we're gonna go with that one, guys. That's a huge chunk of stability. Yeah, that's really gonna help us out. Uh, do we want to boost? We do. Let's go ahead and boost this, guys. Because you can see that stability's dropping pretty rapidly. It's only gonna get worse as the aggressive expansion becomes more of an issue. Uh, war exhaustion is now an issue because of that as well. So you can see we're gonna be getting those, those penalties. But we are also getting the monthly military experience. But I think the, the war exhaustion is going to end up forcing us to end this war, even if aggressive expansion wasn't an issue, which it, it is an issue. So I'm just going to grab that. Again, could have these guys come over here, but I just want to make sure nobody comes up along the coast and starts taking stuff. Because you assume that the, the Macedonians would eventually start taking us seriously. Uh, as of right now, they're not. They seem to not care what we're doing here. Just taking over all their territory with no resistance. Not even a shred of resistance. I thought they would try and land troops over here or something. They haven't done a damn thing. Uh, we will do... Strike the Earth. Alright, so let's go ahead and have these guys move over here now. And... They can go ahead and start working on the rest of this territory here. Let's see, this one's part of the, the region, so let's go ahead and go after that one next. Yeah, going super smooth, man. And easy. <laughs> really easy. Didn't expect it to be this easy, honestly. Now, I'm sure stability is going to start, or, or loyalty might start becoming an issue. Maybe not. Yeah, it's not actually an issue in, in these areas that we've recently conquered. I thought it would be. Uh, food is certainly a problem, though. Uh, but they'll start ticking back up and stuff. Uh, but yeah, the, all these huge armies eating up all the, the food there. That's an obvious problem. Uh, I can also be using this to, to see when our sieges are almost done. I suppose that'd be helpful. I haven't really been doing that. Uh, but yeah, you can kind of see here, and then that way they're not sitting for too long. Plotting and roads. Yeah, I don't, I don't really care about this. We have no interest. All right, so this region has a couple t uh, provinces left, so let's go ahead and get those grabbed up. All right, so let's kind of watch here. We have, these guys are gonna be next. Again, this is really probably how I should have been doing this in the first place. Let's have them go over here next. And somebody else just finished up as well. I think that's up here, though. All right, so these guys finished up. Uh, let's go ahead and have them move to the next province. So this is the next one. All right, so we just need to get these three down here taken, and then we're done with that state. Aggressive expansion is getting pretty high. Still a lot of territory left to take over here, guys. Quite a bit. I'm wondering if I shouldn't have sent more troops up here. I mean, we, we might just split these up even further so we can get this done a little bit quicker. As we uh, shoot into this territory, I think we might end up doing that. Yeah, let's go ahead and split them up even further, guys. Uh, it's more micromanagement, which is the reason why I didn't do this in the first place. It wasn't so much because I was worried about them being attacked. It was the micromanagement that I was concerned about. As they finish up, we'll, we'll split them. We'll split them in half and just have double the armies to try and get this done a little bit quicker. Because that's a lot of territory left to take. And these guys finished up quicker than I thought they would. Well, where's the next area? This one here. So once they finish, we'll split them uh, into half. And then we'll uh, send them out to different areas. Have these guys go up here. Have these guys go over here. And we'll do that with all the units. As I as I finish up their, their siege, we'll split them over there. Uh, so this is the next one. This will be done very soon. But yeah, this is the way I should have done this. This is way smoother and more efficient. Uh, I did forget about our units over here. Uh, they're not even over there yet. Okay. I was giving them time to move, but I wasn't sure how long that had been. Uh, there's actually a battle here. Okay, that's... Okay, that's a little bit concerning because I didn't see that. Now, we do actually have the, the bonus here, which we never even picked anything. Uh, but Frontal Assault is, is working out against harassment, so we have that. So that's helpful. 
We see they lost uh, two ships, though, and we've lost six because they are a better marshal again. They really seem to focus their best commander. This may actually be the same commander from that last war, actually. I'm not sure. I don't remember his name, but he's got that very high marshal. But again, they they seem to have probably their best uh, you know, marshal character leading the fleet, which is going to result in us having some severe issues here. Uh, we might win this. I don't know. I really don't know how this is going to go down. Could win because we have more ships, heavier ships, and we have this 15% modifier. But yeah, I don't know, guys. This is an interesting conflict to watch uh, because if they win there, then they can start shipping troops across, and, and that could cause them. They already have troops over here. Okay, see? Uh, they, they got troops across, and now we have nobody to deal with this, and they're taking territory from us. Okay, so that was the, the concern. Uh, so let's bring these guys over here. It's going to take them so long to get over there, though. What we really need to do is move them by ship, but obviously that's not an option. Yeah, they're, they're taking this territory over. Uh, so that's what I was concerned about, and it uh, did end up going down that way, unfortunately. All right, so these guys are next. And let's see what we want to do here. A little bit of tyranny, lose a ton of money, or take a happiness penalty for... 120 months, 10 years. That's uh, quite a while. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's only a 10%, but... It would be nice to get the stability. And tyranny actually helps us burning off the aggressive expansion. So we might want to... Uh, and look at how much this, this is boosting us, man. We're at 0 0.92, the worst option, boosting that monthly... Military experience, that's helpful. But anyways, I think we're going to do this, guys. I know it's a lot of money, but... I like the, the idea of getting the stability in. Yeah, I didn't really want to get that happiness penalty. Alright, so we're waiting on this here. Almost done. But yeah, we're going to lose a, a bunch of territory. We're going to have to retake over there. That's going to be a pain in the ass. But that was what I was worried about. Them just dropping like a 1,000 or 2,000 men over here and taking our territory from us. Uh, so we do need to see, if we rolled down here, it would have been easier to see that, the hostile sieges. Try and keep our eye on that, guys, so it doesn't happen again. Uh, so the next one would be this one here. And then we just have one more left in this region to, to take. And then I don't know, um, well, let's see what happened in this battle here. Uh, we were victorious. Uh, so we lost 15 ships, they lost 24. I think uh, what gave us the win is, is partly the, the greater numbers, but I think the other thing was just that we had the, the heavier ships than they than they did. Uh, so that gave us a significant advantage as well. The plus, we also had the tactics bonus. Uh, but yeah, they, they clearly have a much better uh, admiral than we do. So that's, that's a problem. As you can see, they're leaving with 92 ships. We're leaving with 122. So we lost eight. We probably lost a lot more than that. It says we lost 15, so then we replaced some of them. So let's go ahead and get the the ships repairing. Yeah, I think we clearly have to, to repair these guys. So let's go ahead and send them over here and repair them up. Get their morale back up. And then I would love to shuttle them across to get them over there sooner. And let me just see how bad the uh, the damage is here. Because if it's not too shabby, yeah, some of these are pretty bad. We'll give them a couple months, and then we might try and move them so we lose less territory over here. All right, so this is the next location. Just wait till this is done. There we go, beautiful. Uh, so, do we want to move into any other regions? I suppose we could take this one here. It would look cleaner if we took this one over. So I think that's what we'll go after next. Though the problem is that we don't want them coming. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. Let's bring these guys over here. I don't want them to get behind us here, and that's the way they would go. So let's leave these troops down here to fight the enemy while these troops take care of that. I think that's fine. I really want to focus on this region up here any damn way. All right, so it looks like we got something else taken. I'm not sure what it was. Uh, there was one that was like shorter days that I missed. Maybe not. I'm not seeing anything here. Yeah, maybe this is the next one. All right, so just wait for them to take that. All right, excellent. Now that they've taken that, let's go ahead and split these guys in half. And just get them moving around and grabbing territory. Uh, we need to get another governor here. Okay. So it's going to get somebody appointed. And it doesn't really matter, you know, culture or anything like that, because we won't have anybody who's a good culture here anyway. Uh, so yeah, we just want to go off of, like, the, the finesse and the the traits and stuff. Having a really loyal character up here would be helpful. 
But do we want to have our best finesse marshal guy up here? Not really. Uh, so maybe we'll go with this guy instead, one of these ones. Yeah, we'll go with this old dude here. Alright, so next siege is right here. Looks like they're about to attack our ships again or something. And yeah, they're going to attack us right, right away? That's what it seems like. They're not going to let us leave. Okay. They're really concerned about our fleet right now. They, or they really feel like they can win, I guess. Because they're coming out of port to attack us. With no morale. That's very strange. So yeah, we already knocked a bunch of them out. I'm not entirely sure what they were thinking there. That was kind of uh, senseless. Come on, go over there. Could split these guys up even further and take this territory over. But if anybody was to be attacked, it would be these troops here. Those would be the ones that got attacked, so I'm, I'm concerned about them. So we should win that battle, and we lost more ships than they did. So this is still going overall favorably for them. Although now they have 85 ships and we have 117, so we captured some of the ships that uh, we took while they did not capture ours. So yeah, we're going in here to, to repair up, but yeah, they really want to come through here. Probably to stop these guys from getting across and coming over here, is what I'm assuming. But yeah, we've already lost three provinces over there, guys. Again, there's uh, not much I can do just yet. We'll have to wait. We'll have to be patient. Let me make sure there's nothing that we miss in here. This is the next one we're taking, and these guys are probably just going to sit somewhere safely. Uh, they can sit there, so we're looking for somewhere where they can sit without any problems. They can go right here. Uh, actually, they can just, just sit here. Yeah, they'll just sit here. And we'll protect this, uh, make sure that no Macedonian troops come up with, over this way. Now, Macedonia is trying to sue for peace. They know what it is. We're going to decline. I mean, we could get some of this territory. You might even be able to get them to give us all this over here, but yeah, we're, I'm not I'm not worried about it, guys. We are not done yet. All right, so who do we want to trade with? Well, I will trade with these little guys. And we got to trade with them, right? <laughs> Try and uh, help them out. Get a powerful British power over there. All right, so we're repairing those ships up just a little bit. You can see they're already... Are they, where are they going? The fleet is going up here, so they're going back into the Black Sea. That's what I want. Get the hell out of here. Don't worry about us. A lot of damage, heavily damaged ships, so we're just going to wait a little bit before we ship these guys over there. Just, just like another... We'll just give them one more month here, and then we'll ship them. In fact, let's have them just go into this port here and just get onto the ships now. As long as these guys aren't coming over here, I'd hate for them to, to attack us when we got you know troops on, on board. Uh, let's go and go over to this province and see what's been conquered over here, because I've been lacking uh, following this here. Uh, so it's going to split in half. Send one guy over to there. And one guy over to there. Uh, these guys also need to be split in half. Let's send one down here. And the other one down to there. Alright. It's looking good. Those guys are going to get on those ships there. That'll give them another month to repair up. Let's make sure these guys aren't coming into uh, our territory here. They're coming into our sea. So yeah, they'll get on there and then we'll bring the ships. It's just so much quicker. Uh, still working on that siege there. Alright, so they're, they're going over that way. Uh, where's the next siege? Uh, looks like... Oops. This one here is just about done. Alright, so let's have them take that. And we're also done over here, so let's go and grab another one. Alright, looking good. Another region now needs a governor. So let's go and just point... Uh, let's do this guy. He'll work out nicely, I suppose. That pink color, man, for that, that culture. A very, very pink. Alright, so these guys are almost there to get on the ships. I'm sure we had a siege done there, but I want to get these guys on the ships now. So let's go ahead and do that. Embark them, and then send the fleet over to the closest port here. Um, I, w I really wish we had some, some forts to stop these guys. <laughs> we do not, though. Uh, let's go into this one, I suppose. Yeah, because I assume that they'll already be over here and have it conquered by the time we get over there. Alright, so that'll just speed them up a, a, a lot more. Uh, where's the uh, locations we've taken? Uh, so let's go ahead and have these guys move over to here. And... I think everybody's good to go there. Yeah, I think everybody's moving. Alright, excellent. Alright, so the next siege to be done is this one here. Should be in five days. There we go. 
So remember, we're taking all this region over and then we'll work on uh, this region here and maybe this one as well. But we're just gonna use these troops for, for that task. Leave these guys down here for just in case. Again, the, the real key here is taking over this Black Sea region and aggressive expansion is getting pretty high. I, I don't even know if we'll be able to take all that over. Cause yeah, we still gotta get a lot of territory. Let me just make sure there's nobody just sitting here. There is. Okay, so I think these guys should come on over to here. Okay, looking good. All right, so waiting for the ships to get across there. That's key. Are the, the troops over here yet? Almost, we're almost there. Uh, so I think we're gonna go and just declare war. Uh, pretty much as soon as they get, we'll just send them right over here. As soon as they get over there, we'll go and declare war. Uh, so here in a couple weeks, probably. Uh, we'll declare war. Well, you know what? I never got a claim. We should probably do that. So we want to, uh, yeah, because we do not have a claim on them. We'll try this. I don't know if this will be done before the war, uh, but it's only 20 political influence. I know that that's obviously uh, short, the political influence. But we're going to spend it in this case. We haven't earned any money in this conflict because of that stupid event that cost us a, a ridiculous amount of money. It's just the way those, those events are, man. Talked about that before, but yeah, it's definitely a problem. The way those events work where they're so based off of your... Your yearly income, man, just causes a lot of issues. You spend up like a obscene amount of money. We'll have these guys go over here and grab this real quick. Just had to send like uh, spend an obscene amount of money to get these event options done. I think this is the next location. We'll have them come over. Oh, okay, they gotta go over this way. All right, we'll have this guy go here then. Grab that, and then he can come over here. All right, so we do have a unit here. Let's go ahead and have him come over that way. And slowly getting it done. All right, next location is here and here. All right, we'll give that a couple days. Let's take a look at our, our fleet here and see where they're at. And, oh, I messed up over here. Come on. <laughs> Get that close. Uh, so we're not done there yet. These guys are done here. This is going to have them march forward. And I think everybody else is good to go. We're just waiting for this guy here. He'll be done in mere moments. And then we'll move on into the, the next territory here. All right, so he's still working on the siege. I'm just really surprised that we haven't seen any offensives. And yeah, they did get to that province in time. Okay, I was afraid of that. Uh, now we gotta get behind him. We gotta chase him down now. So that's gonna be the problem is trying to catch him. Now they won't be able to sit and take provinces without us, uh, you know, catching them. So there's that. I don't know if we missed anything up along here. Looks like we're good to go. We'll just give it a few days. If they sit there for a little while and that's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and get over here quickly. Uh, let's go ahead and bring the fleet on over to here. We don't know where their ships are now. So they might be able to get past us now. And there's really not much to be done there about that. I'm glad we didn't push any far forward, guys. I don't think we would have been able to. We're just taking this here and this here. I think aggressive expansion is gonna be ridiculous. And it looks like that is in fact gonna be the end of today's episode, guys. So uh, next episode, we're gonna finish up this conflict. We should be able to end it then. That's going well so far. We haven't had fight anybody. We haven't fought a single land battle yet. Uh, so that's been interesting. Obviously this has been an uh, issue. I, I, I expected it to happen. I should have had troops over there, honestly. And then we'll also declare war on this tribe so that we can uh, obviously we'll be able to complete the mission because I think they're going to lose some territory here. Uh, but we'll see what happens, guys. Uh, but we'll declare war with them and use uh, declare war on them and then use these 5,500 levies for that task. Since we haven't raised up, might as well use them. Uh, and, and, and there shouldn't be too many troops for us to fight because as you can see, they're, they're in trouble here. Uh, that would probably be enough even if they weren't in another war. So I hope you guys did enjoy today's episode. If you did, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. I do hope to see you guys on the next one, and thanks for watching.